Hello everyone. This video is about how can we combine scatter plot and box plot in one figure. In other words, how can we create a scatter box plot? In my other video, I have already shown how can we create a box plot like this by using a stack column chart. And now I'm going to show how we can also add dots or scatter plots of it so at first uh, okay this box plot was created using uh, this data and then uh, by computing the minimum maximum and the three quarters over here and also the difference over here now I'm going to right click on it and then click on select data I'm going to click on add the series name I'm going to click over here and for values I'm going to select these four okay I'm also going to add one more so the, the second last row in the table and also click on here okay maybe one more and maybe the scenario be 14 and the series value should be this row. Okay, so these values are already added in this plus, and these are now also still in uh, the stack column form. And we need to change this into dots or scatter plus. For this, I'm going to click on. Uh, I'm going to perform right click and click on change chart types. And then I'm going to click on combo in the bottom. So for the series uh, which were used to create the box plot, I'm going to keep them still as a stacked plot. Okay. This is still stacked plot. Also the series five should also be a stacked plot, stacked column. And for the rest, the this series which I just added, I'm going to change them into scatter plot. Scatter plot. This one, and then this one, right? So, as you can see, the scatter plus. Uh, let me check again. I'm oh, sorry, okay. This should also be scatter plot, this should also be scatter plot. Now it's correct. So be careful about the selections. So now we can see that uh, we can see the dots or the scatter plots on the top of the box plot. And if I add all these uh, rows as which are present in this table in the series uh, by repeating the same process, then we can have this uh, box dots or scatter plots all over this uh, box plot. So. Thank you very much guys and now I'm going to show you how it can be done by using Python. So see you in the next video.